All right. So one thing that I've been doing in the more recent podcast episodes is there's been a reoccurring couple of questions that keep reoccurring. So I thought it'd be cool to like write them down and put them in a jar or something. Today, I just have an envelope. So if you're cool with it, I'm going to just have you pick one and I'll read it and then you can answer it if you'd like. Okay. Sound good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you make and, read. if I'm you scared. make and give a mixtape CD to a member of the opposite sex, is there always an implied romantic or non-plutonic gesture bundled with that mixtape CD? That's a horrible question for me. You want to know why? I have never made a mixtape for really? any female in my entire life. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? <laughs> okay, I mean. It's yeah, cool. no, it's just I mean, I really just... haven't. No, 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 no. I mean, that's cool. That's you know what, what though? I, I, just, I just never did. I don't know. I, you know. You, but you're I aware did, of I, the, I did other things. The social... Let's just say in a relationship, um, you know, as that can be probably perceived as, you know, romantic or, you know, passionate or whatever. I, I do other things. You're a songwriter. Have you ever wrote a song? Oh, before? yeah. Well, there oh, you go. God. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. That's so, the I mean, that's like, you know, that's my mixtape, you know, happy birthday. So that's what's right with you. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, yeah, I mean, it's, it's easier for me to, I wouldn't say it's easier for me to write a song, but it's more meaningful for me to write somebody a song than to say, here's a, mm-hmm. here's a tape of other people's stuff that I, you know, feel like we relate to together, which is fine. I mean, not everybody has like, let's write a song in their in their bag, and even if they do, sometimes they overthink it and they can't ever do it. I've done that before. How like, would you I'm feel? Like, oh man, this chick's awesome. I'm gonna write her a song, and then I go, oh, I can't, can't do it. Yeah, yeah, it was weird. It's um, happened a few times. If you knew though, a married woman who was your friend, or maybe just a, like a bonus acquaintance or super acquaintance. And you made a mix CD through a couple of Penny Drop and Rock Brigade songs, a couple of Rounding Thirds, plus some other mainstream stuff. And would you feel all right about giving that disc to the married woman? Let's say she works at... No. No, I mean... Would you feel all right about it? I wouldn't. Um, you know, I know some people do, and honestly, it's... I don't know. When you engage in a monogamous, you know, in a marriage with somebody, you know, that's what it should be. Um, if if somebody's trying to interfere, so it's interfering. You think it's interference? Well, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, basically, because you're just making them have to think about something else, and that uh, can confuse people. I personally, I almost, my personal opinion on monogamy itself is that it's it's a very rare skill. Um, and uh, it's not, I mean, it's, it's good if you find somebody else with that rare skill, but you never know. Mm. And that's just what happens. I don't know what else to say besides that. It is, uh, it's unpredictable. People, people change. Yeah. Sometimes they change together, sometimes right. they don't. No matter what, you can't deny that people, I mean, you can say some people never change. And what you're referring to is the general basis of somebody. You know, but your mind changes about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You know, your day-to-day changes. You holistically won't change as a basic person, maybe, but I would say maybe once or twice in your life. Well, they say that by the time you're mid-40s, you are who you are. I've heard that before, but that's they. Who's they? Well, that doesn't mean anything. I think that you are who you are is a... is a, um, is, is a empty statement to me. Is it like, uh, it is what it is, or...? No. I mean, no. I mean, things happen, but ultimately you're, you're choosing yeah. what's happening around you, who you're with, mm-hmm. you know? The origin that of- stuff changes. It, it always does. Mm-hmm. At one point, I'm really close friends with this person, and then another point, I, I'm kind of like, eh, you know, this and this happened in their life, and now they act differently, you know, so you... I don't, I, I've always had like a revolving door of, okay, here are my closest friends. And then, they, you know, a few people drop off, a few people add. I've had a really, really good friends since I was young. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you don't even always see them. And it's not to say you're not good friends, but, you know, it kind of, you know. I'm having a hard time answering your question. No, 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 it's all good. The origin of the question came about because I made a mix CD for someone that books at a bar. Mm-hmm. And I had no plans on getting, I was married at the time. Mm-hmm. But 
in light of the total lack of response and the change of behavior that followed that gifting of that mix CD, mm-hmm. I figured, okay, she must have perceived that as me trying to get, you know, get my foot in the door, make a little move, make a gesture, and either it made her uncomfortable or maybe she remarked to somebody that knows she's married at a workplace or maybe her husband or so. So that's the origin of the question is that I thought that maybe I was just naive and I'm the only one in the world that thinks you can just, as a music lover here, you got to hear this band. You know, I know you like that band, so oh I'll bet you God. listen to these well, bands. If you're going to go on human behavior and what opposite sex perceives and social that's another weirdness, episode, huh? <laughs> I am just a little too honest for all that. I hate it. Like, I just tell people what's happening because I don't care. I, I, the games, some of the games that we play with people are fun, really fun. Like when you're, you know, when you're, I guess the phrase, you know, talking to some, to a, a, some broad or some, you know, a girl, Mm -hmm. a woman. Um, That game's fun. That's always fun. Courting? (laughs) Sure. The old time term. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I would like to court your daughter. Um, no, um, yeah, I mean that—that's a fun game. But most of the games are not fun. I, I just I don't know. You, it is possible for you to just be nice and give somebody a mix CD. You know, I'm saying, hey, here's my mix tape. It's cool, but I think traditionally it's you know perceived by most people as like a, some sort of uh, you know a romantic gesture of some yeah. sort. So it's. You know, is it wrong? No, not per se. I mean, you could legitimately just be like, hey, here's a CD, like this is the kind of music I like. Maybe you're just trying, like, I feel bad for people's music taste most of the time. Maybe you're just doing it for charity. Oh, hey, you listen to crap, here you go. Here's some mix CD. I would believe somebody, but you know, just that would make whoever she's with uncomfortable, possibly. I mean, I even sure. wrote out the song titles, you know, like I copied the first three songs, it was the same song, you know. Yeah. Animal, I want to F you like an animal three times. I even wrote out, you know, and didn't even appreciate that. Oh, wow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I mean, if you, came on that, nails? if you came on that strong, then, um, you know, maybe, you know. Maybe that song was not on there. <laughs> All right. No, but I, uh, no, I mean, I, I can understand people and the way that they do things. I just, it's, it's annoying to me sometimes when you have to play the game, and it's, it's shitty that I can't really give you an example. I know. You definitely you took the question in different angles, and, you, and the next time I ask it, it might take on a new life. So Right, right. I mean, so where do you want people to go to be sort of docked and ready to know when you're going to be playing out? Do you have a web presence or a... Yeah, I mean, we, we, have, re- a, uh, we have a Panty Drop and Rock and Grade uh, face page. Okay. And they can message or, you, you yeah. guys through there? Yeah. Okay. For sure. Right on. Yeah, we, right. have, we have a Facebook page. That's I mean, we're not right. We don't have an actual website at the moment. So, but yeah, there's a few things on there. Okay. Check it out. And say I something. should say that the full band version of this song is at our YouTube channel, Jimmy Fro Show, and that's when you came here and did the Mind Rocket uh, Project session. So check that out, and um, let's listen to your acoustic version of it right now. Thanks, Dan. No problem, man. Absolutely. Rock. Taste sweet victory, but we can be brave in misery. We are afraid of what we can see. We can work and get out, and I said, I never want to see another war fight. I never want to see another life, but if only we could stand up in unity We could set every motherfucker's brain free Ooh, yeah Can't you hear the universe calling your name? You're not listening to it or anything, yeah 
It will shake alive your insides till you cry And hang you out to dry And it will hang you out to dry I never, never, never wanna get old I never, never, never wanna be told And I am who I am Yeah I'll never, never, never ever turn cold My soul never, never ever gets sold Cause I'm not for sale Yeah Can't you hear the universe calling your name? You're not listening to it or anything, yeah You will shake alive your insides till you cry And hang you out to dry And it will hang you out to dry it will hang you out to dry Yeah, yeah And it will shake a life in your insides And it Will shake your life in your insides, and it will shake your life, your insides, your insides, insides, and it will hang you out to dry. Thank you very much! <laughs>